He know. Uh, okay, apparently, let's go investigate this. What's going on here? <clears throat> Mister? Hello, sir. Come on out! Hey, partner. We gonna talk hey, sir. About what you How you doing? Time. What the hell? You're a dead man. Whoa. So much for the new Hey. Who the devil are you? I am the devil. I am the devil. Yeah. Get out of here, you. I said get out of here. I'm going. Oh. Quite know why I did that. Because barbarity is boring, no? You kept me amused some years. <laughs> you must go, my friend, before the Jean de Marie arrive. Hey, are you gonna do right by this fella's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Mm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. Uh. Yeah, that one's random. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. Oh, oh excuse me, sir. Boy. Yeah, he's just one of those random schnooks that you can run into. Anyways, what is this other one? Eh, let's go see what the brother wants. And then we'll get on with the main story. I know I was going to keep like the optional bits optional for you guys and gals to watch, but... I don't know. I mean, I think a couple of... I mean, this one's going to be completely blind for me, so... Because I've only ever done the first tidbit that he gives you. Hello. Sister. Hello. My friend. Mr. Morgan. Oh, sir. Brother Dorkings told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. No offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! He's Steve! To the worst. Don't hurt him, please! I'm only gonna bash his head in. Where the hell did he go? Oh. Out of my way! You little bastards! You alright? Kid did this? Uh, you know him? Yep. Yeah, Which way you go? Uh, that way. He right. went he went that away. Just a weasel, man. These kids are fucking evil. Get off me! Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no damn watch. Last Saturday I saw you say hey, you! Get your hands off of that boy right now. You stole my watch. Right now. Before I smash your head in that wall. Alright, alright. Mm-hmm. Get it? Little shit ain't worth it. That's for Thanks, mister. You got lucky this time, kid. Oh, okay, so he dropped it. <clears throat> hey, you want some company, mister? No. Familiar voice. Hey. What? I don't know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. Ha, now. I mean, I, hey, Help. Uh, Help! Hold on! This man is bothering me! Now. Someone help me! Officer! Help! Oh shit! Crime? What crime? What? what? Holy shit though! Oh, that poor woman! Good God! No, no, no. Just. Okay, so yeah, that's, um, what's his face's wife? Damn, I really fucked her over. Or Arthur really fucked her over. I don't know. You tell me. Although, I think I need to actually move out of the area. Gonna wait for my opportunity to escape. Go, go, go. Fucking get what? 
Stop getting stuck on random shit. Just run towards Ludwig. Just hide down in this alley. Should be safe here. Oh man, that poor woman. Arthur, man, like. I actually kind of want to beat Strauss's ass for that because it, in reality it's his fault for oh man jeez hell of a way to start off a video like holy fuck yeah I, we're getting to the point now where some of this is going to be uh, we're getting to the point now where some, some of this is going to be like a blind uh Let's play almost like it's slowly starting to transition to that now. Let's see, um, not not a lot of the side bits, but what the hell am I? Wa oh my fucking god! Really? That's annoying. What the hell was that? that I run over. This game, uh, sometimes I tell you. Wait, oh, shit, 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 shit. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Excuse me, pardon me. Watch it. Okay, he disappeared into the nothing. That's good. Okay, well, that's mildly annoying. There's a guy right outside the thing. All right, Ludwig, I'm going to have to ditch you for a second. for it every day it's a new challenge okay Oof, made it hi sister i got your cross <gasps> you didn't oh i did oh, <laughs> i hope the boy he's fine physically mentally he's a piece of work but who am i to say brother dorkins was right about you you are the most wonderful man mm. brother dorkins is Greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing. Oh, man, that dude's hair. My mother gave it to me when I was a novice. Shortly before she passed, you are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, father? Brother Dorkin, I told you. Brother okay, is my bounty auto-cleared then? Not quite. That's annoying, but this lawman's not alerted to me, so there's that. Alright, Ludwig. Let's go pay off our bounty. Hug in. I don't know what the hell it is I ran over. I don't know if it was like a dog, a pig, or whatever the case. Off we go. Dramatic entrance! What? <laughs> that fucking delayed reaction. <laughs> nice to see you again, sir. Ah, uh, how's it going? I gotta pay my bounty off. Christ, you got the money to pay all that off? No. Well, actually, yeah. I was—I could pay off that three hundred dollar bounty that I got as well. Thanks, Mister. Thanks, Mister. Gee, what a Mister. Gentlemen, my apologies, but the train is a hair behind schedule. There's nobody here, you mook. Is that me? Yeah. He's talking to the voices in his head. 
All right, so now that we got that matter of business out the way, uh, we shall head back and see what Hosea has for us. Now, there is that stagecoach or whatever full of moonshine that I could rob, but I'm, gonna, I'm not going to bother with that one until a little bit later. I just guess there's not really much of a point in me doing it. Also, I don't know how the hell I... Well, watch it. A unless I met him in one of my other videos. Okay, yeah, maybe it's that one that I did, um, my drunken let's play of this, or my second drunken let's play of this. That's probably when I met him. That's part of why I don't remember it, because I was drunk. It's all right. I'm not, I'm not doing those anymore. How are you? How are you? How are you, boy? Out of the damn way. Calm down, Arthur. Shit. I do feel bad for Mrs. Downs, I mean, that's fucked. I wonder what happened to her kid. Yeah, I was wondering why it said familiar voice. I was like, familiar voice, I don't recall you. I was like, oh shit, it's Mrs. Downs. <laughs> that's my boy. That's my boy. Easy, boy. Easy there, boy. Hello. Help me. Damn. What happened Please. to you? I need medicine. Medicine, huh? Uh, here. Here. Well, pff, instant sunlight. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, I just tried that plan over there. And it was like a gunshot. I don't need no new friends on the road. Huh. Get oh. Remember, remember the one with the pink flowers? Tiny little bastard. Steer clear. Thanks, mister. I owe you my life. Yeah, you do. Come now, every now and again... <laughs> it's actually advising me, or not advice, or giving me advice on how to rob a train. I'm not following you. I'm going my own way. But, um, yeah, sometimes when you help those random guys, like, you know, and you don't actually kill them or scare them off, um, they will actually help, uh, offer you a free item at one of the, uh, stores. There's one that I know that offers you a free item at the gun store. And then there's one in Rhodes that offers you a free item at the general store. Yeah. Or wait, no, no, wait, both of those are in Valentine. Never mind. Coming in. Coming in. It's Arthur, you dumbass. I don't know. It's O Arthur, you dumbass. Let's say, uh, what you got for me, brother? What you got for me? Hosea? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch Van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. How did you know I like wearing gowns? That's my private secret. Oh, God, I just pictured him in a gown. Uh, actually, no, I take it back. He could probably rock a gown. Arthur in a gown. I ship, I sh I ship it. What the fuck? <laughs> I can imagine it. <laughs> we are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There can be fine tickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. I got a question of why we brought Bill. <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca. I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. 
Naruto just like pulls up all of his rifles. You, Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. Luca. <laughs> that was, okay, that one, that last one built a little awkward. I did the cinema. We are honored to be here. Sweet. The beautiful evening it shall be. Oh yes, very good. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, Mr. Brante, he has a the thing. Oh, excuse me, sir. Respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Bronte. Come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. Oh, oh we gotta go this way. Follow the escorts. Chaperone. Yeah, Arthur, you could have. I, I think we could have gone with cutting our hair a little bit. Or I could have, anyways. Hmm, interesting. It's a very fancy place, yes. You arrived, and you've washed for the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. Oh, <laughs> the first time in months, no doubt. Us too. Yes, quite something, although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Looks a bit goofy. <laughs> You'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is I avoid politics like the plague if I can help it. a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crawley, a, a confederate major in the war, and a hero, they say, but that this is his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife, it's unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, hand a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> you can see this guy's a piece of work. That, that is Hector Fellows. This self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such. Not in cold blood, anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. Ah, none taken. None taken! <laughs> <laughs> All these vulgar people. They hate me. <laughs> I can't imagine why. <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy, and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves, and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day. <laughs> that was a very Good awkward. You. But this... before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any. Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes. As my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> smells like a trap. <sighs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. See? <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Yeah, I'll... Or Bronte is kind of a douche. By kind of, I mean he is a severe douche. Big douche! Great big douche -louche. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Santa Denis. Ciao, ciao. See ya. All right, Dutch. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. 
Where what's plan, Dooch? Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose, All right. you go find us someplace to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. Ah, uh, Bill's not the sociable type, in my opinion. Hello there. Let me offer you ladies some champagne. Would you like some champagne? Of course. Thank you, sir. You are quite the gentleman. Clearly not from this swampy hell. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies, I'll see you next week. <laughs> Your hair looks stupid. <laughs> Damn. Let her walk all over you, why don't you? Gentlemen, I hope you're having a fine evening. Ah, Mr. Mayor, wonderful to see you again. And <laughs> you, this intellectual here was just insulting me regarding the redskin. I did no such thing. <laughs> but, Mr. Lemieux... <laughs> I suggested that all of us, as Americans, had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint Denis. It ain't complex, and you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. Yeah, Who's you're drunk. That? This man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me cool off? How do you do? That's right, come here, you. <clears throat> Get your hands off me. I will once I've escorted you to the proper place. Come on, sleep it off. That's right, off with you. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the party. All right, let us return to the mayor. How are you all doing? How do you do? How do you do? How do you do indeed? Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. That's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's oh, I don't know why I'm yawning so much. Shit. That, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? I don't know. Rider? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh. 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 Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Woohoo! Yay! Excuse me, father. Excuse me, father. Uh, Monsieur, please. please. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Oh, Cornwall. He shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. That he did. Find out what. Sure. All right. We gotta follow this fool. Will the servant to remain undetected? He just like stops there for a mid split second. Be less. I was gonna say I'm gonna be less conspicuous by ducking down, but it won't let me. You got such a funky walk up those steps, dude. No problems? Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Terrible. Okay, they obviously do not trust, uh... Bronte. Yeah, for some reason I thought this was Bronte's home, but it's actually, I think it's the mayor's. The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. Mm. 
Okay. Marie. Find that little reprobate chip and beat him. I will not have standard slip in this house. Whew. I think for all intents and purposes, he should have seen me. Boo, 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 boo. I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Could you think? Jeez, you man, what a dick. Yeah, yeah. For the likes of you, you know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. I think a lot of people in this game are douchebags. You gotta love how video games don't incorporate peripheral vision into the things, because it was almost cartoony, like how I was just hiding on the side of the thing and he didn't see me. Hello, what are you doing in here, sir? for him to leave. Doot, 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 doot. <laughs> Conveniently, there was one of those things there. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Excuse me. Confidential. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. All right, let's get out of this house. There's a letter we can inspect. Ugh. From the office of the mayor, city of uh, St. Okay, I'll read that uh, later. Or I'll read it after I finish this recording. Right now I need to get out of this house. Must inconspicuously escape. Uh, sir Dutch. Ma'am. Do you mind? I am sorry, sir. Your mustache is righteous, though, I must say. <clears throat> Quite righteous indeed. I think so. Nothing. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. I think. Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find out? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of the big bank. Real one, I mean, but not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. Hmm. Big city we bank. Believe. That could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Give us our guns back, you fool! I like how he knows which ones to give back to who. All right, let's get in. Go home. Oh, I ain't get stoned. So awkward in all my life. All them folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. <sighs> Let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Oh, really? Let me think on it. That was a fun little segment. A little bit of espionage, sneaking around, stealing shit, dealing with the racist Italians. <laughs> Interesting times. I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. 
He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law react. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller, fine man, here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we can hmm. help. Maybe. Now, Maybe. I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. You can smell what the rock is I'm cooking? I'm going to investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. So we're arriving a trolley, a boat, a bank. Uh, I think we're getting a little bit in over our heads. Hey, let me just hop down here. Uh, uh, Hello, doggy. Speaking of dogs, is that one? Yeah, it's Kane. Hello, boy. Pet the doggy. Pet him. Pat him. Adam, Arthur, you go you goof. He's a good boy. Okay, enough of that. Come on, Arthur. We have business to attend to. Wolf. You right there, buddy? You okay, old man? Oh, sure. <laughs> just dandy, partner. Just dandy. <laughs> oh, damn, man. Sounds like you got some smoking lungs. You sure you're okay? I'm fine. Well, if you ever need something, you let me know. All right. There's somebody siffling over here. Mr. Morgan. Ah, hi. Can I ask you a favor? It, if it's convenient, I mean. What's that? Sure. If you're out on your adventures and you see any herbs for seasoning, would you mind grabbing them for me? Seasoning? Yes. Don't tell Mr. Pearson. Okay, I'll see what I can do. All right. Hello, Johnny boy. Marston. Good morning, Arthur. You're keeping busy? Trying to. Hmm. Well, don't let me stop you. All right, then. All right, then. Happy to be out of that suit? Never again. I hated every minute of that party. <laughs> Well, we got some good leads out of it. Give request. Here's that uh, hair pomade you wanted. Well, look at that. Thanks, Morgan. Oh. I owe you one. I reckon we should both just forget this ever happened. <laughs> Reminds me. Let me. Uh, let's see. Sorry. No, that ain't it. Not player progress, mayhaps. We're forty five percent through. No, I didn't want to. The hell? Back. That's not what I wanted either. How the hell do I get to? I don't see how I view my quest things, but for some reason I, I don't know how. Morning. There's room here. You want to sit? Nah, I think I'll pass. Hey. Hey. Alright, so let's see. What all do we got going on now? Trelawney and a stranger.
Wait, hold on. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Index. That's not what I wanted. Hmm. American fathers, such mission that the gang might be able to help Evelyn Miller with lobbying officials in Saint Denis. We have to bring. Oh yeah, that's right. That's the Native American tidbit. Uh shit. How do I feel my damn quest log? It's not this. All right, hold on. What's it? Uh, show gang savings. No, oh, no, never mind. Never mind. Okay, apparently my cat's angry at something. So I guess we should head back into town. Uh, oh, there you are. Let's see. Where you at, Ludwig? Idiot. Speaking of which. There we go. Who's a good boy? Yeah. Alright, so I think I will do Trelawney's tidbit first. Yeah, I should have enough time to get through to it. Yeah, yeah we're coming up to the point where I... Uh, it was actually the... The, um, what the hell is it? The fucking trolley station thing that you robbed? That's the last part I got to. I think I said bank robbery, a botched bank robbery, but no, I meant to say a botched, um, robbery of the trolley. I forgot that it was a trolley station. Whoa, what the hell? No problem. Yeah, indeed they are. Put the guns away. We got a loot. Who else did they kill? Oh, getting all up in the goop. Be mindful of gators. He's dead. He didn't need that. Idiot. Idiot. Nice little side distraction there. I remember the first time I did accidentally shot the guy that was also kneeling. Because I thought he was, uh, I forgot why I shot him. I think I, th I think I, th I thought, yeah, fuck. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> Anyways, I thought that he was kneeling over a corpse and looting. God, man, my brain just went... <laughs> I hope somebody edits that into a video like, what the hell is this? Gears <laughs> uh... <laughs> in me. <laughs> uh, I would edit that out, but <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure that's going to make somebody laugh. <laughs> Uh, it made me laugh anyway. <laughs> Your brain just goes kaploot. Hello, coppers. <laughs> Man, she got some mad sliding skills. Learn all about our great religion and understand the importance of safety in nature. Safety in nature. Beg your pardon. What's this over here? Oh, hi. Morning, dear. It's Good morning. It's time to be safe. You, one of you, please take a pamphlet. What the hell is this about? Morning, partner. Hello, sir. Can I interest you in Chelonianism? Oh, this shit again. Well, I don't know. Can you? Well, I hope so. It is a fascinating religion that was taught to a very wise master about a hundred years ago. 
in a land not very far from here. Okay. Take a book, please. Uh no. No thanks. Oh. Have a wonderful day. Be safe. Yeah, sure. I get involved in any hocus pocus weirdo religion. Oh, just, <laughs> I think my guy was about to punch that dude. No. Maybe Chelonianism will help me stop talking like how I did earlier, where I just was like, I, uh, uh, uh. I almost. What? No, I. Whatever. You people are melodramatic. Excuse me! Pardon me! Ugh. Move! Move! Oh, there. Whoa! <laughs> that was a delayed reaction. Ah, there you are, dear boy. There, there I am. There I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. What? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well, no one realizes you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. What are you talking about? You talking about Willish? That suit is not fit for the purpose at hand. Come along, dear boy. Come along. Hello. I think I'm more than. I mean, my hair could use a little work, but other than that. Need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. The Whitmore. Whitemore. The spoke fire in three-piece stone suit. And jealous people. You can see the <laughs> it looks basically the exact same as my... The Whatever, Trelawney. Very good choice, sir. Inbreeding. It, wait, what? <laughs> Did I just hear that right? Let's get you to the barber. To the barber. Thank you, sir. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. Hmm. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. Flamboyantly? You're going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. Hmm. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in and you take whatever you want. You don't Easy think enough, they or might simple enough, anyways. Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Huh. Innocent fun. Well, well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. I hope so, too. My good could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? My dear hick friend. <laughs> Aim weapon, this shoot the barber. likely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Eh, I don't like it. Well, very good, sir. No, it's uh. not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Eh, I think I'll go with that. And we'll pomade it. Make him look like a prince, sir. Sweat back. <laughs> Bald. <laughs> no, that looks horrible. Yeah, I think I'll go with that. Facial hair. Little styles. Ugh. Hmm. The Josiah.
presidential. Uh, they should have made that one like an Abe Lincoln looking thing. Nah, I think facial hair is fine as is. They look good enough. There, very smart. Come on, let's get to the box. I've arranged some transportation. Yeah, we're taking a coach, are we? Hope you have a successful evening, <laughs> like, like we got on, got off, and then got back on. Corrigan, sir. Unless I didn't see that right. Toad, the prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach. We can't winny up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. Countrified yokels. Oil man. Money to buy. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, outside, outside. Saint Ham. So. Who's a mark? You all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. That's it's good to know. Desmond but when a random driver knowing our plans, like, I think these guys are planning to rob this place. Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He Mind knows. reading. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. <laughs> Another one, yeah. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the... Don't worry, right Arthur. Ones. We're all the authors of our own fortune. Arthur on. the author. Indeed. Or should be O Arthur. O Arthur. 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 Whatever. We've arrived. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weapons here. They are searches when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, he is. Yes, yes. Believe me, I heard every word. <laughs> Watch Strauss. Listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. You may hope. There they are. Well, Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on. Certainly. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. <laughs> funny that, Hello, funny he says that considering we just Hello, had Thanksgiving. Champagne. champagne. Yeah, I definitely prefer champagne over wine. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. Just Good randomly time. cuts to this. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. <laughs> your wife is going to kill me. Now where can I get Strauss knows the hands that will be dealt. Yeah, basically he'll give you two, one of two gestures. He'll either not be like, yes, do the thing, or like, no, us? don't do the thing. Show up. Uh, you, mister, excuse me. We have a chair here with your name on it, sir. Oh, how nice. Gentlemen, Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Evening. Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. That's so. Less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this. Chips already stacked up waiting for Strauss. No. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. Yeah, I'll call it. So, how are we all fair? 
Someday. Next round, I was one fold. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Yeah, you can see him shaking his head, singling to fold. Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> oh, well, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> we'll see about that. To hell with it. Everybody going all in. We go then. Well, Hello, my ladies. <laughs> Arthur, you folded, you dumbass. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Like Gonna get these hands. Blythe. So what business are you in, Mr. <sighs> I'm an oil man. For my sins. Funny. I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You will soon enough. You know, Oops. I thought about getting into hosiery, but... Hey, call it. Look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You betting? You sound just like my wife. I didn't notice it gives you that little hint at the bottom there. I mean, it's a scripted thing, so... Okay, Mr. Callahan, I'm all in. All right, so he's gesturing I'll yes. Call. Interesting. Pair of cowgirls. Pair of cowgirls. <laughs> Shit. Shit. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning... Well, I heard... Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, down. You got him triggered. You called him out. I gotta watch. Look at you. I gotta watch. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. <laughs> now play. As you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. <laughs> tour, he says. Very cute, Arthur. Let's not waste any more time here. All in. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. All right, he says go on too. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pair cake. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. <laughs> no offense. Unlucky Desmond. Now, you just super salty. Discretion, but um, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? And up the stairs, or up, up, up the stairs. We'll go. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Yes, of course. Follow me, gentlemen. All right. Follow me, sir. All right. Oh, oh, didn't mean to get ahead of you. My bad. Quite the night. One, two yeah, hands. So far. So far, yeah. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Yeah, you just pointed at that one, dude. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, wow, know, such I a know. charming guy. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I yep. saw it earlier. I can club you in the face with it. You racist bastard. Made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. <laughs> 
<laughs> what is this guy? Jeez. Like, make me not feel the least bit bad about robbing these guys. You're being robbed. Oops. Disarm. Damn. Loot the safe. Ooh, right square in your magnificent jaw. <laughs> what the hell was that? Much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Let's see what this guy had on him. Oh, can I not loot him? Sure. Guess not. Oh well. Screw it. Let's go. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Yeah, if we're lucky. That's okay. I do not feel bad about killing that dude at all. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? Yeah, good question. Too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. No garnish, no meat. <laughs> Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Oh, I, 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 I dig that plan. Way. Thanks. I give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Get up. Bit of a frame rate drop there. Into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor. <laughs> he says that so funny. To the bar, senor. You had fun, sir. <laughs> In the time of my life, you boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> I look. There's your friend. There he is. Don't be a sore loser, friends. Something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. What? Whoa. Oh, party is over. Ooh, headshot. 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 I don't know if I shot that guy in the head or not. Oh, that was a headshot. Oh man, I'm getting headshots everywhere. Ah, damn, I am on a roll. Let's go, go, go. <laughs> what about the alligators? It's like, what, seven back-to-back -back headshots, almost? I'm actually proud of myself for that. Well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? Uh, a few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. <laughs> and this watch, uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss, uh, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a right lingo, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. <laughs> all right. We'll give it back Let's then. <laughs> give that to uh, Fencer. Cutscene. There I was, leaning against the beam, as this man approached me. Holy shit, that's a lot of money. How's the day treating you? Yeah, it's treating me just fine. How's it treating you, boy? Okay, brother. Okay, so next we got that tidbit. What else what do we got down here? Sadie Adler. I wonder what Sadie's got for us. And eh, we'll deal with her in a bit.
So yeah, yeah, I think this will line up the next video perfectly. I'll go deal with the Native American dudes and see what they want. And then I will, um... First I'm gonna get out the middle of this road. Look out! Look out! And then uh, we'll go to see what Sadie Adler wants. So anyway, folks, I have a look of light, and this has been Red Dead Redemption 2, and I shall see you all as soon as I can boss this thing. Alright, anyways, see you all next time.